going to show you how to fix a Roku Ultra LT where you have an issue where it's blinking like a um, black screen that is blinking or it's flashing. Maybe you're on the home screen here or maybe it happens on one app, several apps, maybe it happens to all your apps. It doesn't matter. I'm going to give you a bunch of solutions to get you up and running right now. So first thing to try is we're going to go ahead and restart the uh, Roku, Roku Ultra LT simply by using a special key combination on the remote. Okay. So watch very closely. It's going to be this. Home button is here. You want to hit the home button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Up once. Rewind twice. Fast forward twice. Okay, so let's do it together. Ready? Home button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Up once. Rewind twice. Fast forward twice. Now look at the screen here. It's going to act all funny. Now it's going to be frozen on here for about like 10 or 15 seconds. And it's going to go ahead and restart. So just be patient here. Okay, it's restarting right now. Now once it's uh, booted back up, go ahead and see if your um, if it's no longer flashing with a uh, black screen. Hopefully that uh, fixed your issue. If you guys are still if it's still not working, if you're still having the uh, blinking um, black flashing black screen, then we're going to go to step number two. So the next thing we're going to try is go ahead and turn off your uh, make sure it's off your auto adjust display refresh rate. Okay, so we're going to go back to settings click on your home button We're going to go down to settings now you want to move over to the right now you want to move all the way down To system now you want to go ahead and move over to the right again And now we want to go down to advanced system settings Right here now go ahead and move over to the right and then from here We're going to go down to advanced display settings now go ahead and move over to the right and you want to make sure move over to the right again make sure that this is off okay so if you had it on and you just turned it off now go ahead and see if you're if you no longer have the uh, black flashing screen if you still do we're going to go to the next possible fix so the next thing we're going to try here is to change your display type all right so first thing is again go to your home screen here then we're going to go down to settings now we want to move over to the right and then we're just going to go down to where it says display type right here now move over to the right now you can see i have mine on auto detect what i want you to try every single one of these okay you can start off at the 4k hdr 60 um, hertz see if that's available for you if not go down go down one more go down one more keep going down uh, until um, it actually accepts it and then once you do that Go ahead and see if you have a flashing black screen, all right? If you still do, then we're going to go to the next option. Now, the next thing that we want to try is to make sure that your TV settings, not your Roku Ultra LT, but you make sure your TV settings under your um, picture settings or picture mode, make sure that is on low power mode or energy saver mode, okay? Again, you have to change it on your TV itself, okay? Not the Roku Ultra LT, okay? So I have a Skyworth uh, Android TV here. So what I want to do is let's go directly into my settings. So let me go to the home page on my uh, TV here, and then let me go to settings. And then on my TV from here it would be under device preferences, but depending on your brand, your model is probably going to be somewhere else. Okay. Anyway, mine is under device preferences. And then from here, I'm going to go down to picture. Okay. Oops. I see picture right here. Click on that. Now you can see my picture mode. I have it on energy saving, okay? So click on that. Make sure you're on energy saving or low power, okay? Once you change that, then go ahead and fire up your, fire back up your uh, Roku Ultra and then see if the, um, the black flashing screen is gone. If it's still there, we're gonna go to the next possible solution. So the next possible step here is go ahead and make sure your uh, TV is on and you're on the uh, Roku uh, home screen here. What we're going to do is unplug the power to the TV, okay? So go ahead and pull the power to the TV just like that. Wait 20 seconds after 20 seconds. Plug it back in, turn on the TV, and then see if your Roku Ultra uh, LT is working correctly. Now, if you still have a black flashing screen, we're going to go to the next step. So if you're still having the uh, flashing black screen, next thing is this. Go ahead and grab your Roku, uh, your Roku Ultra um, LT. And what I want you to do is, you can see that it's on right now from the light. What I want you to do is pull the power plug 
from this from the socket okay go ahead and pull it just like this now we're going to wait 20 seconds after 20 seconds plug it back in fire up the roku ultra lt and see if you still have a flat um a uh, flashing black screen if you still do we're going to go to the next possible solution so the next possible thing is this okay it, it could be an issue with your actual outlet so wherever your roku player is plugged into mine is right here go ahead and you can see that's on go ahead and pull the plug and then what you want to do is put it into a different wall socket so go to another um, actual wall socket plug it in there turn on the roku and see if it's working if it's still down we're going to go to the next possible solution okay so next thing i want you to try is you know you have the uh, hdmi cable is plugged into your roku ultra but it's also plugged into the uh, back of your tv what i want you to do is change hdmi ports it could, it could be an issue with hdmi port so change it pop it into a different hdmi port fire your roku player back up and see if you're up and running it's still down we're going to go to the next possible solution now what we're going to try next is we're going to do a, a system restart going through the settings to restart it okay so first thing is go ahead and go to your home screen, click on the home button. We're going to go down to settings again. Then you want to go ahead and move over to the right. And then from here, we're going to go all the way down to system right here. Now go ahead and move over to the right. Now we're going to go down to where it says system restart. Okay. And then go over to the right again and go ahead and restart it. Let it restart. Once it boots back up, Test out the Roku player, see if you still have a flashing black screen. If you do, we're going to go to the next possible solution. So next thing we're going to try here is we're going to see if you have a possible software system update. So go ahead and go back to your home screen, click on the home button on the remote. We're going to go down to settings again, and then we're going to go ahead and move over to the right. And now we're going to go ahead and move all the way down to system right there. Now go ahead and move over to the right. And then from here, we want to go down to where it says system update. Okay. I already updated mine, but let's go ahead and click it. And then you want to check now. Mine's already up to date because I just updated it. However, if you do have a update available, download, install it, and then test out your Roku player. And hopefully you're up and running. If you're still down, we're going to go to the next possible solution. Now, the other possible solution is you need a higher quality HDMI cable. Okay. So go ahead and try a new HDMI cable, a higher quality one, and see if that works. Also, look in the link below. I have a link to a high-speed HDMI cable uh, from Amazon. All right, so I have one more um, last solution for you. However, before you do this last solution, what I want you to do is try every single step. Try it over like two or three more times, okay? If you guys are still down, then the last option I have for you is to perform a factory reset. It's a hard factory reset simply by using the reset button on the back of the uh, Ultra LT here. So let's just go ahead and do a factory reset. Okay, the reset button here. We don't want to just press it once. We press it once, it's only going to restart this Roku um, Ultra LT. What we want to do is a, a hard factory reset. So what we got to do is press and hold this reset button until it blinks. All right, so we'll do it together. Ready? Reset button right here. One, two, three. Press and hold and just wait. Just wait until it starts flashing. I'm still holding the button here, waiting for it to flash. There it is. Go ahead and let go. And now it's performing a factory reset. Don't forget, guys, with the factory reset, after it's done with the factory reset, it's going to, it's going to be as if you bought this uh, Ultra LT brand new and took it out of the box. And then you have to start off from the very beginning, like uh, choosing your language and your Wi-Fi and your password. Okay, just restart it. And there we go. Pretty simple. If this worked for you, let me know uh, which step worked for you, which step you think worked for you. If it didn't work for you, give me a thumbs down. We should have more thumbs up for sure. All right. Good luck, guys.